What's up my loves and welcome back to another three year training plan where you pick a player or I pick a player and we train for three whole years on FIFA 16 and we hopefully you can join the 19 plus club. Guys I'm only going to do a few more of these, uh, I'm trying to think, if you guys want me to carry on doing this until FIFA 17 comes out just let me know in the comment section below but I'll start to do, there's a couple of you that said you want to do an, you want me to do actual live commentary of me playing the pro so I will start to do that as well. But that'll be not next one, the one after, I'll start doing that live. You can see my reac reaction and then I'll take snippets. So the uh, video is a little bit shorter rather than a massive video. Or I'll play like the first half of a match with that pro and then the first half of it towards the, the end of the uh, training plan. But just let me know what you want me to do and how you want to do it because this is. You guys give me feedback, that's what I want, so I can improve it for when FIFA 17 comes out if you want me to carry on doing this, because I kind of enjoy doing stuff like this. like this, it's kind of cool. But yeah, let's get into the episode. In this episode, we are going to do Jean, is it Jean Paul Bortis, I think that's how you say his name. Uh, he's um, potential is 84 rated, so it's not too bad. Thank you for d 2 u UK2E, he was on at me for ages to do this guy, and now I'm doing it for you. So, thank you for keep on at me. But this guy starts off as 75 rated. He can play left or right wing. I think he can play up front as well. He can play left mid, right mid. And he's, some of his stats are okay. His acceleration, his agility, and sprint speed are the best three stats. So bright green, Acceleration is 92, agility is 90, and his sprint speed is 85, so we won't be concentrating on that. His 5-star weak foot, 5-star skill moves, and his specialist straight is acrobat. So we won't be concentrating on his sprint, necessarily. It'll be on his dribbling, his shooting, and other aspects. And perhaps his defending, so he can sort of increase a lot, lot quicker. You can see we're doing some free balls, his free kicks we're improving. You can see in the first season he grew by the five. He went up to 80 rated, and that is not bad. I was thinking this guy is actually going to get to 90. I was thinking if he carries on, he's going to progress very, very quickly. You can see some of his stats. His attacking position went up by nine. Interceptions went up by nine. Ball control and his dribbling went up by five. Also, his free kick accuracy went up by five. Crossing up by six. Finishing up by five. Shot power up by eight. Volleying up by four, curve up by four, long shots up by eight, and he's he didn't get a specialist trait this time round. I think next time he does. Normally players after the two seasons that I train them, they do start to get their specialist traits. You see, we concentrate on the same lot of drills because he hasn't established himself in them drills like the volleying, shooting, and the penalties and the free kicks. He hasn't got he's got a little bit better, but he's not at the top of his game in this. In the second year, he didn't really grow by that much. He grew by the three, which I was very, very disappointed because I was expecting him to go grow by five again. And his agility went up by three. His sprint speed went up by three. His interceptions went up by five. Attacking position went up by five. Crossing went up by three. Ball control, dribbling went up by three. His shot power and his long shots went up by four. His finishing, header in, accuracy, volleying, curve. Long passing, free kick accuracy, when all went up, uh, all went up by the two, and he actually got a specialist trait this time, clinical finisher. I did say to you after the second year, they start to get their traits through for some unknown reason. It does take a long, long time. If you're going to do this with someone, you want to concentrate on them fully f for half a season, and you will see them improve massively. But if you do half and half, it would take absolutely forever. In the final year, he only grew by the two. So he ended up on 85 rated. I was very, very disappointed he didn't get to the 90s. Because in this last year, he didn't really grow that much. It was very, very difficult to train him up to get to the, this 85 mark. So he actually got, went over his potential. His potential was 84. I was very, very shocked he didn't grow any more than that. And you'll see at the end, I do play with him. He felt a lot better than he did, did at 75 rated, 85 rated now. He's dribbling's a lot better. You can see his speed play. He's shooting from distance is a lot better. And his sprint speed is very, very quick. Unfortunately, he could not join the 90 plus club. Oh, well. But we're going to... I'm not sure who we're going to do next. But if you want 
me to do someone leave in the comment section below and I will do it and if you've got any other suggestions let me know and I shall see you in my next video guys adios